Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Now I've got something a bit different today in the form of a Discord stroke Corsair keyboard tutorial. Now if you've got a Corsair keyboard, so I've got the KGB55, you'll notice that you've got these six G keys on the left hand side numbered one six. Now they're aimed to be used as shortcuts but I've never been able to use them and in Discord when I'm playing games with my communities I need to do things like mute, deafen, and I've always put them on like say keys that I might use to type and sometimes you forget that you've deafened or muted and it can be a bit of a pain so predominantly the G keys aren't recognised by the computer world so you've got to utilise them a different way so yeah I'm going to show you how to do that and the example I'm going to use is myself using the keybinds in Discord. So if you do like today's video please like the video let me know you enjoyed this and obviously found it useful. As I say I'm not really a big one for these types of videos but i thought this would be extremely useful in my situation so if it's extremely useful for me it's going to be for others right if i bring you over to my discord here um you can see that obviously i've got a lot of different types of communities so i've got like a section for every game i cover final fantasy cyberpunk the division and among us now with among us we on a friday night get a group of people together and we jump into the discourse one chat and you know we play among us but obviously for my example wanted to obviously utilize these cheese keys is because when i'm in the chat with obviously people i want to mute deafen without using keys obviously that i'd use for other things so for those who know and obviously want to set these keybinds that's fine you know how to do it but for those who don't you want to come down to this little user settings tab here when you click it you'll notice you've got keybinds now You'll see here I've got two keybinds that I use in every game. So toggle deafen, toggle mute. Obviously, playing Among Us, you want to toggle mute so you can still hear the chat going and seeing how the game going. But if you're actually still alive and you're still in the game, you want to toggle deafen just so you've got no background noise and stuff. So you'll see here that these are keybinded to F1 and F2, which is fine. If people want to use the F keys, that's not a problem. But having this keyboard, I've obviously got the six G keys on the left hand side that I want to utilize. But for instance, if I go to this and edit this keybind, I'm pressing G1 now, and nothing's happening. You know, it won't change whatsoever. So let me just put that back to F2. So I found a way around this using the Corsair software. Now the way you use the G keys is you actually do keep these in Discord set to the keybinds that you want to use. The key that you don't really need. F1 and F2 for me, I never use. So what you've got to do, you've actually got to remap the F1 and F2 keys to your G keys. Now the way you do that is if you go to, you can see I've downloaded this software, the IQ Corsair software. If you haven't got it, I will leave a link in the description for you down below. But once you've got it loaded up here, you'll obviously be on the home page. You've got your devices here. So if I click my keyboard here, go to actions. You'll see that I've actually got these macro keys set to G1 and G2. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to delete them so you can see exactly the process of this. So what you want to do is you're going to have a blank page like this. You're going to click the plus icon. You're going to get your first macro. Now over here in the bottom right hand corner, as you can see, it says start and record a macro by pressing and record it by pressing the record button. Now, once I click this, anything I type on my keyboard and then stop the recording, that's going to be telling my computer when I press the designated G key, I want it to do that action. So you can, even if you wanted to type something like, hello, my name is Roy Mario, follow me on YouTube, nice little plug there, stop record. Every time you press G1, that's what's going to come up. So people use it for things like shortcuts if they want to type out in their Twitch chat, you know, follow me on social media, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, so if I click record and I press F1, so you can see it says press the key F1 and release the key F1. Stop recording. On the actual, while that's highlighted, go to the keyboard and press G1. Now that's saved. So every time I press G1, it'll do what F1 does on a normal keyboard. So we repeat that process there again for G2. We've got it up here, G2. So what I want to do is I want to record, press F2, stop record, and it's as simple as that. So now your two G1 and G2 macros, in my instance, are remapped to do what F1 and F2 do. So let's go into Discord and take a look. 
So back in the Discord, as you can see, toggle deafen is set to F2, toggle mute is set to F1. If I go over into my Discord one chat here now, you can see I'm deafened. If I press F2, it undeafens. If I press F1, it just mutes. Now let's try it with the G keys. So I'm going to press G1 first. As you can see, it's muted me in the Discus 1. I'm going to un unmute. And I'm going to press G2 and it's deafened. So that's how you utilize your macros on the G keys with a Corsair keyboard. You can do that for anything you want. So if you've got, as I said, as I said before, you're on Twitch, you want to drop your link, for instance, to YouTube or drop your social media links in the chat. You could sit like during like say a little bit of a break in between games. You can go over to the IQ software, click an action. If you wanted to say subscribe to my channel, www.youtube.com forward slash whatever, you press the record button, you type all that, press record again, and you can de de design it to one of the G keys. Anyway, that's it for today, guys. If you did find this video helpful, please like it so others can obviously see this and you utilize these keys. And if you are interested in any of the communities that obviously I cover on my channel, you know, Among Us, Cyberpunk, The Division, Final Fantasy, and probably Outriders, I think that's going to be a little, it's going to be a cool game. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. With that being said, take care.